morning. So I was riding down the road and I had something hit me that I wanted to share. I look out the windshield and I see nothing but blue skies today. The rain that we've been experiencing has subsided. I don't know for how long because I don't look at the weather much, but I don't see a cloud anywhere. And it makes me think about the times that I have allowed the clouds to hide the sun, my son being Jesus, and the love of God in my heart. And but I pick, this picture today shows me that eventually the clouds go away. Eventually the rain stops. The same as such in our lives with the storms that we go through. Eventually those things subside. Those things go away. We survive those things by the help of, of, of God. We can look forward and know that there's a purpose for these things. God knows better than we do and there's a greater purpose. You know, James said that we count it joy you know that we go through these things because it it helps us grow it helps our endurance grow our faith grow our patience grow that's that's why we go through these things but you know when these storms and stuff come up in your life and the clouds begin to seemingly like they're covering up the sun the sun the love of God in your heart you know we have to do we have to do everything that we can to keep that from happening and to allow the sun to shine through because even when the clouds are over the sun the sun is still shining the sun never stopped shining it was still there it's just you couldn't see it because of the clouds but if you look at the edge of the clouds you see that thing called a silver lining is what people call it that that lining right there is the sun beating those clouds and it's showing us if we look at it we can see it and say well you know what the sun is still there and those clouds are going to move and that's the same way with the love of God in our life. We've got to allow that to shine through. And sometimes you, you know, because the devil is no happier when he can keep you handcuffed to your past. And if you forget what your past is, give him some time. He'll send something or somebody to remind you of what your past is. He's good at that. But sometimes we do have to face our past. You know, just like I talked about Sunday, Moses had to face his past. Moses was a Hebrew at birth, adopted by the Egyptians into royalty by Pharaoh's daughter. And he was basically raised an Egyptian. But in Moses' heart, he always knew that he was a Hebrew because he killed an Egyptian for beating on a Hebrew. So he knew in his heart who he really was. And you know, the love of God keeps us that way. No matter what we're going through, no matter where we find ourselves, if you're a true child of God, the love of God in your heart reminds you of who you really are. And that's what Moses found out. So Moses kills the Egyptian buries him in the sand trying to hide it and then he ends up running away to Midian for 40 years. And 40 years later God calls him through a burning bush and tells him to go back to Egypt and set the Israelites free. Moses had to face his past. He had to go back to that place where he did something that he knew he shouldn't have, where he did something he knew was wrong, where he did something that he knew hurt other people but he had to go back and face his past. Uh, old pastor friend of mine and a preacher said it best when he said that Moses didn't allow his past to stop him. If, if we allow our past to stop us, what are we preventing God from doing through us to other people, to this world? If Moses would have stopped, he, he would have never set the children of Israel free. He would have never led them out of captivity. He would have never parted the Red Sea. He would have never scribe the Ten Commandments. You know, these are things that Moses did not not be able to accomplish because he didn't allow that to stop him. He realized that the love of God was greater than what he had done. And we need to be reminded of that sometimes. So I'm telling you today that the love of God is greater than your past. You just have to uh, you really have to be a changed individual. That's the thing. You have to change and turn from your your sinful ways and your sinful nature and go the other direction if you do that there is nothing that can stop you but you nothing because God is going to be right there in your corner and he's not going to he's not going to use your past against you obviously you can't allow the past to continue to reoccur because that means that you're not a changed individual and that's what God calls us to be is changed so I just wanted to tell somebody today to not let your past handcuff you 
and not let the enemy discourage you and know that sometimes you may have to face your past but it's to do good this time it's to do good this time why because the posture of your heart has changed you're not who you used to be and after 40 years Moses was 80 years old at this time Moses was not who he used to be Moses had grown in the Lord and grown within himself so y'all take care have a great day and do not allow the devil to handcuff you to your past set free from your past walk with Christ and allow the love of God the Son to shine through your clouds in your rainy days to know that he still loves you and to let other people know that he's still God and he's still around and he's still alive and he's still well Y'all take care of yourself. We love you. Have a wonderful day.